hello. There is a load of cats actually in there not. Hi folks, it's, uh, it's been a while, I was actually sick, so uh, I'm glad to be back, hold on there's a little bit of water there, because the weather is crap, but uh, it's been a while, but uh, I have been sick for about a week here, and uh, I'm just getting back into things and I'm feeling a little bit better now so I'm off to show you another place now I can't remember the history but if you google if you google um, Boom Hall uh, Derry uh, Northern Ireland um, you'll get the full history of uh, what we're going to see now we're, we can't get into this building because it is a ruin and it is in a bad state and it has been sealed off so uh, but we can uh, we can have a look around it you know but uh, as it says the weather is not 100% today but uh, I did have to want to get out filming today because I haven't been out in a while so uh, here we go and um, these are the outbuildings And you can see by the uh, the trees that uh, you know this is a pretty old place with uh, all the arches and stuff. But uh, how you doing? Even in bad weather, people are out walking. Uh, but uh, that is the outbuildings for the main house and uh, you can see the old the old trees around a lot of the land around here was belonged to the house but a lot of it's gone into uh, uh, um, public parks now so uh, and it is on the shores of uh, the river foil that is the house there Look at the size of that tree, that's huge. There's some information on it here. I will uh, not read it because I'm not very good at reading, but uh, I will leave it up there for a couple of seconds for yourself to read or pause it. Uh, better again, just pause it and read it. Well, that's the first part. Here is the second part. Um, if you want to pause it and uh, read that before you go on, uh, please do so if you want to. Um, it'll give you some history. Uh, as I says, um, I did know the history, but I kind of forgot it. Um, but it was a pretty, pretty big house in its day, and. There is a number of haunted stories surrounding this building as well. Um, it looks like somebody's been uh, uh, cleaning up and 
keeping the uh, the ivy from uh, and the and the plants uh, from uh, taking over this building because tr uh, well there is trees on the top of it and if they stay there what will happen is they go in through the cracks of the building and uh, the, the building starts uh, falling apart <coughs> it goes the, the, the roots goes into the uh, goes into the cracks and what happens is it makes them cracks widen and what what happens then eventually is the um, the building starts to disintegrate then we're going to go down to the shore a little bit but uh I'm glad to be back out uh, filming again because, uh, as I says, I wasn't uh, wasn't feeling too well for the last almost two weeks. So uh, to be able to get back out is great, and uh, I started feeling not so bad this morning. The only thing is, the weather is absolutely terrible, but. Uh, as I said to somebody earlier on, every day you're not sick is a good day. But, uh, there's the building from the other side. Actually, we're very, very close to the foil here, and a lot of the land around here has been put, turned into public parkland, you know. So, uh, the terrain is very bumpy, I'm tripping on things, but uh. This might be a short uh, film, but I'm just grateful to, to be able to get out today. This is the area facing the foil. And as you can see, it's all barricaded off over safety concerns. But uh, there was a famous photograph taken by a photographer uh, years ago who came down and photographed this building. And when he looked at the photograph, there was a face looking out from the top window, even though the floors have been rotted away in this place for some time. So, uh, <coughs> that's one of the haunting experiences uh, by a photographer. A uh, group of kids was down here one night and I can't remember the full story of that, but they had claimed to see uh, paranormal activity down here. But it is a shame to see a building in that kind of state because it is a pretty beautiful building. The sun is starting, starting to come out.
I'm just glad to be back out, folks. Just glad to be back out. Um, today, there has been a lot of nasty showers. But hopefully I will avoid them. Um, this tree over here you can see it there is a photograph if you google boom hall dairy uh, images you will see the family standing around this tree that used to own that house do you know that's pretty massive too. They're all oak trees. But uh, as you can see, two floors in the basement and possibly a top floor in an attic. <coughs> But uh, I'll bring it down here a wee bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll bring it down here a bit for the uh, to show you some of the park. You know, it all would have originated. The land originated with this building back here. I hope someday that. It can be, uh, it can be restored, you know. But, uh, we'll head back down. But, uh, as it says, it's been a, it's been a tough week and a half because, uh, I've been in sick, but uh, you know I've been itching to get out, like you know. And today, when I, I, I wasn't feeling so bad, um, the weather just happened to be not so good. Um, here is uh, a bridge here in Derry that this links. An area on the other side of the river called the water side uh, to the city side. But uh, down below is a walk. Uh, you, down below there is a is a a public park now. Look at the size of that tree. They're all. Uh, most of them are, are uh, big oak trees that date back to the when uh, back to the the time of the uh, of Boom Hall, you know. But, uh, we'll head back up. I don't want to go down too far because I'm still a little bit sore. But, um, Glad to get out. Um, over the last number of days, I've had another, a number of new subscribers, and I am absolutely fantastically grateful for that. Thank you very much. And as I said before, um, I'm new to this. Um, I'm a pure and utter amateur, and haven't even gr grasped the. Uh, 
art of editing videos so for the moment anyway what you get is the raw footage you know just go to the places and hopefully hopefully go to interesting places and uh, you know um, I thought to myself will I blog at home there's a certain amount of blogging you can do at home but when there's when you're sick and nothing is happening in your life what do you have to talk about you know I prefer going out and doing this you know so uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, the sun has come on out, come out and has given me a bit of a break lots of really ancient trees here I don't know someday somebody may do something with this building because it is a quite a beautiful building and a piece of history you know